Hey everybody, it's Dan Martin. Today's video is going to be on the transition or the first move from the top of the swing down to get the to get the full swing started. And that's something I get I get a lot of questions on is you know what what starts the first move down? What's the transition? You know, do you move your how do you move your hips? What direction do you move in and things like that? And so I want to I want to clarify that for everybody that the transition actually is more like you fall into motion. You don't really do anything. And uh, this is kind of where we start to get into the effortlessness of a golf swing. So when you like watch a really good player, you tend to see, well, it's clear their lower body definitely moves first. And there's no doubt about that, but it's the way they move that I want to explain for you. And so when I say kind of like falling into transition, well, I'm going to go back to something that we all do very well. We all can walk. Okay. So when you walk, you have, there's no first move. <laughs> It's something you just kind of go into, okay? So if you walk and you try to think about how you took steps, all of a sudden you'd be rigid like a robot and you would actually wouldn't have any flow to it. So when we walk, what really happens is the earth is always pulling on us. So our muscles are kind of keeping us upright. So the easiest, most efficient way to start walking is to start to fall. But your muscles and your nervous system are so, uh, so aware of this, they found that that's the easiest way to get motion happening. And then you start to transfer momentum through, your, through your, the swinging of your arms and your legs, and it makes it a very, very efficient process. Riding a bike is very similar as well. Once you understand getting into motion, balance is automatic and it just stabilizes you. So we, we, have, this, we have this sense in, in learning motion that in the golf swing, like we have to like do something with some sort of an aggressiveness, but the reality is you just need to kind of get it going, okay? Now, I'm not saying you couldn't add some force by some muscular action in the transition and, and kind of hit and push the ground a little harder, but the initial movement in a golf swing when I get to the top is much more of a falling into a motion. I fall into a turn. I'm not trying to make something happen. So you can see there's a big difference. So if I'm one of those players that say, like, okay, I'm gonna really fire my hips, well, that actually causes my muscles to tighten up and it's actually gonna block the swinging energy, okay? When you watch a really smooth swing, when they get to the top, of the, when they get to the top they're lower, kind of, they kind of fall into the earth just a little bit. If I naturally fall into the earth in just a slightly kind of a rotary pattern, then all of a sudden it creates rotation. And that clearly looks like I'm using my hips, but all I'm really doing is I'm just kind of falling back into kind of a square setup. That causes a stretch through the body that moves the thorax, the arms, and the golf clubs and puts the energy into the golf swing. You don't have to do very much to get the golf club to go very fast. In fact, if you can get your pelvis just to go 2.5 miles an hour, which can almost be achieved by just kind of sitting into gravity a little bit, the club head of a driver can get up about 100 miles an hour. Okay. If I can extend myself a little bit more up and give myself a little more room to fall like a long drive person, I can start to create more and more velocity in that initial, that initial transition. So when, when you think about your golf swing going forward, I'd like you to really try hitting golf balls. You can actually do this as a drill. Just take it to the top and get in a nice big turn. See if you can just feel your kind of body just fall. Just kind of fall. So I'm falling with just a little bit of rotation. So I can kind of feel my left glute kind of fall backwards. I get nice and centered. And if I leave my arms up, I can feel a stretch happen through my body. That is the start of energy starting to go from your, into your thorax, into your arms, and into the golf club. And that's simply what starts the transition. And that's and how you start your, your downswing. So if you want a more effortless golf swing, I want you to feel like you kind of fall into transition instead of try to make something happen or try to jump off of your feet. Because when, you when you overuse muscle groups, the natural tendency for the body is to tighten up and resist, which is then gonna block the flow of energy. So last time here again, anytime you're, next time you're out there working on your golf swing, hitting golf balls, practice the feeling of falling into motion instead of trying to make your motion by, pushing the, by, by trying to push too hard and rotate too fast. All right, hope you guys all found that helpful and we'll see you next time.